Whatever it is, it's right beside of me. I can't see it. Oh my god! The Lancaster leak. That's what I call my dick when I take a piss. The Lancaster leak. The following tape and many others were recovered by FIBA. Intern Valerie Bardot and given to us. There she is. She's beautiful. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship and... Oh, boy. Still beautiful. Foul play is expected. Suspected. <laughs> Suspected. As long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance. Sorry. FIBA warning. The information conveyed through this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with this directive will result in the prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the Espionage Act of 1917. You have been warned. Case number 127876. Purpose debrief. Date 1988. Clearance Tesca. Case, missing persons. Entity, present. Status, resolved. Uh, picture one. So, get a good look at that. Previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwa tribes, it is now home to year-round camping and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was un... The subject's name is Bradley Kaufman. Brady. On August 25th, 1988, Brady Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual as he intermittently... Okay. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August the 30th and recovered footage from him recovering record device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by the annotations. He's beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful. Oh, I guess this is the 59-year-old's camera. Cool. Cool. God, I love these games. The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. Oh! The subject could occasionally zoom on certain objects. My cooking tray. My Volkswagen. <laughs> My large Gatorade. My Tupperware. Something made me re pull out my recorder, so. Here's where I was whittling. And. I guess let's go towards the sound, uh, apparently. This is flipping cool. It is cool. Bushes! Bushes baked beans! Okay, I can't go that way. Maybe I can. Alright. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing right now? The subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Oh. I'm going to record myself showering? Why would I do that? Oh, that's just grass. I couldn't tell because of the bullshit graphics. The subject went to the shower and sent many dick shots to his favorite female streamers because that's what... It's what men do. Men love to send the boner shot to their favorite female streamers. Ah, tripped over a rock. And Scotty hopes that it would be the reverse and all of his favorite ladies would send him booby pictures. Instead, he gets as many wiener pictures as the other streamers do. <laughs> no! <laughs> Too many wieners! Papa only takes Arctic showers, that's true.
Oh, that scared the hell out of me, man. Cut that shit out. I'm trying to take a shower in peace out here in the woods. Where it's the safe. All the time. You know what I'm the saying, my the friend? Duh. Somewhere out here in this VHS hell, there's a bathroom. Hot dog party. Jen. You're promoting cannibalism, you crockwad. Time to shower. Is there somebody back there? Are you also making the scrubby scrub on your ample flesh? I am a vampire. Who back here making flesh scrubs? Ooh, steamy. There is somebody else here. This is how people get killed and or have the hottest sex ever. I wonder which one will happen to me. I'm here for the hot sex. <laughs> Or not. Pause one. The subject stopped filming, and then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject films again. The subject, who cares? Jan? I did not say Jan. I did not say Jan. Man, somebody took a fat upper decker in here. <laughs> Sorry, man. Didn't know you were still in there. I wouldn't have said that out loud. Sure I would. <laughs> Goodbye, dookie man. I'm going home. Good luck. I wish you were a hot chick. We could have done some cool things. I could explain why my pubes were so long and basically just explain how I wasn't expecting to get laid tonight. So I would have done more crop work if I'd have known I was getting laid tonight, but I didn't. So, you know, it's getting kind of crazy down there because nobody's touched me in a while, but it's okay because I can fix that real quick. That's why I carry scissors in my fanny pack. It's all good. I can fix it. No worries. I'll be right back. Don't leave, please. The Forest of Blaze. <laughs> I think this is my... Who's this guy? He's standing... It looks like he's standing backwards. Facing away from me. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but it is not being actively pursued. The largest jump of time happens at this point with an estimate of one or two hours. The recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Yes, it is. We want to know why he's two miles away from the last human contact that he had. Who the hell are these people? I was a freaking detective for over a decade. It's incredibly important to know why this person's two hours. Why would you go on a two mile hike after you just took a shower at night? That's incredibly important. No wonder this case is unsolved. We got morons working the case. A little two-miler before bed. Yeah, right after I just took a shower. Take a shower. Hike for two miles. Now it's time for bed. I can't sleep till I've got my 6,000 steps. Gotta get my steps in real quick. Did I hear that?
some kind of like a a moo, but it went and then it stopped. It was really distant, really low. Was that a weird cow moan? Okay, so you heard it. Oh, it's an elk. We're good. We're fine. Just the, the majestic stag of the woods, man. No big deal. Nothing to worry about. Every step you take Every move you make Every gasp you break Every fart you Let escape, he'll be watching you Oh, can't you see? <laughs> the window girl's coming for me Can't see crap. It's a bridge troll. I should have known. Why am I being hunted by deer? Every thought you take, I'll be smelling you. In your little britches poop, I'll be smelling you. I guess those are fireflies floating around. Every thought you escape. Every hymn would you create. Every headache you partake. That's a dead deer. Oh boy. Is that claw marks on its gut? It is. Chat. A deceased deer was killed by entity. Or I was going to say cougar. We'll go with entity. Cougar cow! Picture four deceased deer. Subject encountered a diseased deer attacked by entity. Diseased. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Oh boy. The entity. It was a diseased deer, by the way. The, the subject is audible for the first time displaying emotions of fear. The subject begins running as multiple sounds of entities surround him. Oh, shit. Where are we running to? I'm running towards the sounds. That's, that's a Wendigoon. That's a Wendigoon. Help trees! You losers! Oh shit! Whatever it is, it's right beside of me. I can't see it. Oh my holy! Shit. The subject struggles against the entity, but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. Subject drops flashlight and then camera. It creates a shadow backdrop. Subject blood creeps in the frame. Distant entities can be heard. <laughs> uh. 
end of tape. Brady Coffin's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. <laughs> okay, uh, death scene. Subject's remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal, personal items remained intact. The public was told it was a normal bear attack. That ain't no bear, son. Tibia found 0.5 miles away. Case relevance. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding and special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. Entity debrief. Name Wendigo. What did I freaking say? Wendigo. R the risk is severe containability three. What did I say? Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing person cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable hunger for human flesh. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo, and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. That was incredible. One of the best short indie horror games I have ever played. Bravo, 10 out of 10. Read the associated Reddit, No Sleep Story. I work as a secretary at a small FBI office, a man in a pink suit, something, something, something. Missed it. Consider joining the Discord newsletter to get the news release of the next game. Nah, but still. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. The Lancaster Elite Crisis at Call Center. Oh, that's what it's called. That was great. That was great.